Well, here's a an older board that kind of has a classic example of bad capacitors where just there's a whole bunch of them. Um, all of these, all of these. Let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve bad capacitors on this board. And this is an old AMD socket 462 board. It's just a cheap brand. Um, so if you look, all of those have bulged tops. And this one and this one were starting to leak. Um, Let's see, I don't know if I have a. Let's see if I got a brand new capacitor around here. Well, here's a good board. You can see on this board, all the capacitors look fine. Um, look, the tops of them. None of them are bulged. Compare that to this one. When you turn it sideways and look at them, you really shouldn't, if you're looking at them, you know, completely on the side, you really shouldn't be able to see the tops. It should be completely flat. And the plastic or whatever that encases it actually sticks up higher than the capacitors. So, like this one, when you look at it from the side, you don't see the top. You don't see the silver on top. But this one, you do. And if you see them leaking, I mean, that's, that's obvious. And there shouldn't be anything on top other than silver. Uh, make sure it's not dust or something, but, you know, brown, orange, especially like that one this one and I'm gonna chunk this isn't worth saving but um, this board I'll probably try to save I haven't decided on this one this is the Acer um, I may repair it this one I'll probably repair because it's only um, only this one capacitor. Normally, though, what I do is if, like on this one, if this one's bad. Really, I should probably replace all of these with the same um, same rating. Like this is a. Um, 6.3 volt thousand microfed really I should probably replace all the 6.3 thousand microfeds just to um, you know because this one went bad for a reason I mean like that other board those were probably actually bad capacitors and they're just sorry um, this one I think is actually a good brand So, you know, it may have had some kind of a power spike or something that caused it to go bad. Um, these, you know, on this board, we've got three, 3300 6.3 volt. There's only three on this board and all three are bad. Then we've got this uh, 1500 6.3 volt. Um, we've got, it looks like three of those, one of them, four of those, one of them is bad. So, um, I would probably go ahead and just replace the bad one and just see how it worked. Uh, if I was fixing these and, well, I'd probably never fix a board like this and sell it. I'd, um, either give it to a friend or use it myself. So... You know, because you never know. Um, 
you know, it, it could have been a poor design. You know, maybe the capacitors were underrated. So, you know, but if you're wanting to repair it for yourself, you know, you might try first just replacing the ones that are visually bad. If, um, if you run into problems later on, you can always replace the others.